Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Unpack Pittsburgh podcast. I'm Elena Waterick. This is Brian Wilson. And today we're here with Kaylee and Valerie from Fig and Thistle Vintage. Hi, thanks for having us. <laughs> that was one hell of an intro. That was one hell of an intro. So we are actually blessed enough to be invited into your home because you, your store is actually virtual. But why don't we just start with kind of the basics of you explaining kind of maybe your relationship and how Fig and Thistle Vintage came about. Yeah. So we're, we're friends first, neighbors as well, uh, a few streets away from each other, and we kind of discovered our love of vintage uh, between the two of us sort of during the lockdown pandemic <laughs> days when we were doing daily walks together. And then as, as lockdown kind of slowly eased up, we started going shopping together and hitting all the Goodwills and vintage shops. And when we kind of reached max capacity of our <laughs> personal collections, our husbands were getting a little grumpy. <laughs> and we thought, oh, you know, we'd love to keep this going and help other people find great pieces for their homes. And so when the opportunity came up to um, buy a handle uh, and some inventory, we kind of we kind of looked at each other and we're like, ah, should we do it? And we we kind of jumped headfirst into to reselling our you know our favorite finds that we find around town. So, <laughs> anything to add? Yeah, I think you I think you hit it. Yeah, we just <laughs> love we love stuff and we love sharing it with people. And it was really a fun thing that we got to do as friends first. And then we were like, let's start this business together and bring these awesome items. Um, save them from landfills and give other people the opportunity mm -hmm. to decorate their homes with unique pieces. Yeah. That's very cool. So when someone asks you and you guys are out and they say, what is Fig and Thistle Vintage? How would you respond? So we call it like a female uh, friend owned uh, vintage resale business. And so we're, we do it all on Instagram. Uh, we don't have a storefront. Uh, everything <laughs> that we we purchase, we also decorate our homes with as kind of an inventory. But then, um, so we really only pick out pieces. We would we would display ourselves, and then um, we help we help our viewers find items in our shop that they would love to have in their homes too. All right, let's get into how you guys came up with the name. <laughs> I'll let you take. That yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. We worked. Um, we worked. A long time on that, actually, we were it was really important to us to have something that was unique, um, that was also representative of us as friends, as business owners and our storefront. We wanted it to be something that like you see a card and you're like, oh, what is that? Um, and we I have a little preference to purple, the color, and we sort of <laughs> went down that route of trying to like make that part of the brand as well. Um, Kaylee is a graphic designer and really helped us kind of come up with the logo and the imaging and we had a couple a couple things that we were going for we liked the um the kind of a word and something so fig and thistle we both garden a lot we liked the ideas of like maybe like a thistle is something that's discarded sort of like vintage items often are um, we like the the kind of contrast before between like a sweet like fig and maybe like a spiky thistle <laughs> um you know just kind of those imageries that pop up yeah, it feels like there's a couple like inside jokes between yeah. the two of us and like, uh, you know, Valerie has purple hair. I, if, if that didn't come through <laughs> as <laughs> why yeah. we why we kind of veered towards purple yeah. and then um, just the the gardening aspect between the two of us is another like passion yeah. that we shared during the pandemic <laughs> lockdown. And like, yeah, like you said, the the fig and the thistle as symbols, we like those as well, like a, a beautiful kind of feminine shape in the fig and purple as well. Mm -hmm. And then the thistle being, like you said, a discarded item that we find beauty in, which is a lot of the items that we source. Um, yeah. It's like you see them on a shelf in a Goodwill and it you don't really see the potential until you bring it back and put it with other items in our houses and, and we style it and, and can it show our kind of viewers the, the potential in that item that maybe you glossed over when you <laughs> see it in, in the store, so. You want to roll, I don't want to uh, The uh, You just mentioned Goodwill. Um, for someone like myself, you were nice enough to educate me kind of on your process in advance of this, but like how does, what is your process of finding that amazing mm -hmm. piece that someone overlooked no matter where it is 
and then getting it to, I assume, your website or Instagram, and then getting into the home of someone else? Yeah. Yeah. We like how we source um, all of our inventory is we love an estate sale. We're on the estate sales websites. We're cool. up at 6 a.m. in line for play things. 5 a.m. <laughs> Sorry. We're in line at 6 a.m. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Kaylee, I had to force her a little bit to do that. She's not <laughs> such a morning person. Um, I also like I, you know, grew up with a grandma that was like picking stuff mm-hmm. off the side of the road. So like I often do that. I'm like looking in people's trash. Yeah, it's really seeing the yeah. potential <laughs> in items. Yeah, thrift stores. Like anytime, <laughs> even like traveling too. I'm like looking where the nearest thrift store is. Like where can we go? What can we see? Um, yeah, those are kind of our big main mm-hmm. things. We have some, you know, friends and family know that we do this now. Like we've helped, you know, family members clean out houses to collect, they, they give us the, for- the sort of first run of things. Um, yeah, and then personal collections as well, like things we've collected over the year that we're, okay, we're ready to pass this on and mm-hmm. share with friends as well. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, a variety of, of different yeah. sources. So. so it, you find it and then it yep. goes to your website Instagram where can someone who's mm-hmm. watching this maybe go purchase one of those yeah so I guess process wise we we bring the items back to our homes and then we kind of figure out with the other items we have we try to do kind of like little mini collections maybe a similar style of things or a color palette or um, an era like a mid-century mm-hmm. modern or something like that or office space or something yeah to, try to like yeah. put collections put and a little visions collect- together to, again help people envision kind of those items in their homes and then once we have basically what we call a drop uh, collection of items we photograph it style it um, we, we do a lot of cleaning too. <laughs> There's a lot of cleaning. washing of objects. The, un- the, <laughs> the, the, came out of the trash. Yeah. <laughs> the not foreseen labor yeah. of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of revitalizing <laughs> these pieces and bringing them back to life. And um, then, yeah, once we photograph them, we do. Uh, we do a drop every couple weeks. Yeah, on our Instagram. Um, on our, Instagram. Our big, our, our storefront for us is our Instagram, which is, you know, at mm-hmm. Fig and Thistle Vintage. Yeah, so um, we, yeah, we post it and then also put it on our stories. And then if, uh, if someone sees an item they like, they can comment sold. And, and then we get in touch with how to pick it up or um, and purchase. And purchase. Yeah. And purchase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super fun. (laughs) So I took a sustainability class last semester, and your brand is fully sustainable, it seems like. And a lot of people would rather buy new things than old things. Um, Do you want to go over why it's so important to shop sustainable? Yeah, definitely. We we love saving items from, from landfills, basically. We're like... You, these items still have purpose and on top of that they're not only functional a lot of the items we have but they are they have a story mm-hmm. and they're beautiful and we find some like we've found even rare items that we look up and we google them and we're like wow this is actually <laughs> like a collector's item and somebody was just going to toss it or it wasn't you know probably going to go in a, in the landfill after goodwill and so we love bringing those pieces back to life and being able to tell a story. A lot of the items we find too, um, the glass industry in Pittsburgh, it's, mm-hmm. there's a local story, um, not just um, the makers, but like you can tell kind of the history of the region in some of these items as well. And so it's just, it feels um, important, important, yeah, yeah to, to bring them back to life. And on a completely well not separate note but like one thing that i learned just recently is you think of pittsburgh as the steel city Mm -hmm. but glass was actually bigger than at the moment like that's like glass poor and things like that but i mean i just i wasn't around then so i didn't know but like i was just blown away then i went down this rabbit hole just learning how important pittsburgh was to the glass industry it's pretty uh pretty well yeah I can speak a little bit to that I do have a a, a different job also where I work for a Pittsburgh glass center and we were I mean Pittsburgh before it was the steel city was known as America's glass city we were producing actually (coughs) sorry over um, 80 percent of the the country's glass right here in Pittsburgh in the region I was just blown away yeah it's so cool to learn that (laughs) yeah and there's I mean and that one of that's one of the like one of our favorite items we like Mm -hmm. to collect too and like sources like we love a lot of colored glass functional glass 
Um, and it is. It really has a roots in Pittsburgh, and there's lots of like local companies like around. And you know, P glass in the city has like a revitalized mm -hmm. history now with like artists and makers as well. Also, a very sustainable material. Yeah, you can recycle glass and. Her team often turns their even the glass shards into mosaics, <laughs> so it yeah. really has a long shelf life. Yeah. <laughs> so I go thrift shopping sometimes. Um, I started yeah, recently. Yay. I fell in love with it. But you we'll always have so we'll have to take me yeah. some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely come. It's so fun. You find things that like aren't on the market right now. It's like so unique. Um, what are some items that you found mm. that you were just shocked and fell in <laughs> love with? Oh, that's such a good question. Things we actually were able to purchase, or we just <laughs> 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 were out of our price range. And we're like, ah, like I know you were eyeing up a peacock chair at one of the estate yeah. sales, and we didn't make it in in yeah. time. Somebody grabbed it before. It was like a big, huge, like rattan, almost throne looking uh, chair of like yeah. woven rattan for the like, outdoor yeah. patio. It's we super walk cool. Into your house and just <laughs> like very, your it's like very room. 70s yeah. and cool and like yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we sort we tend to sort of gravitate towards like mid century mm -hmm. modern um, colored glass. Like we have a lot of brass too. You love a oh brass. Yeah, we love a brass um, object. These yeah. 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 candlestick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these loose like grapes that are behind me was like a bucket list item for me. That was yeah. a good find. So um, <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I. I am personally on a, always on a hunt for like swung vases, which is like the mm. a style of glass vases. Yeah, There's like a yellow, and mm. yeah, I found a pink one one time at a local thrift store. That was a really exciting moment for me. Also, you love making finding disparate matches. So like oh, finding yeah. one glass in one store, and then like weeks later, you'll find yeah. a match to it. Like, I we do. have a set of two now. I do <laughs> love. That's like, yeah. that, that makes sense though. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I do love making like things like come back together, yeah. which yeah, that is really mm. satisfying for me. <laughs> As a business guy, I have to ask, what was like one of the pieces? Don't you don't have to name the piece, just name the number. Like <laughs> you might have found it for two dollars, and it was some rare coin, comic book <laughs> card, vase, whatever. Like don't say the actual yeah. thing in case they're watching. But the like, what was the best mm. flip, if you will? I mean, one of the things that we also like to do is, you know, we want to keep our, our prices pretty pretty reasonable because okay. we don't want to be, like, That's unattainable. Nice. Um, and we want, we want it to be something that, you know, it has the value. Again, we said we do spend a lot of time cleaning and going places and sourcing. So we don't want to be too outrageous. Um, and we want things to be affordable. But I'm trying to think, I mean. Yeah, there have been some items where we, we research it and, it, you know, the retail value could be in the hundreds of dollars but we don't we don't usually sell it for that much right. just because a we probably got it for cheaper <laughs> and b um we we like you said we want to be affordable and allow you know something that otherwise would be thrown out to yeah. have a new life and if if, um, if it's not going to sell at that antique store price um we we yeah. try to fix it up and but I think that maybe uh, that you're not supposed to say what it was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did have yeah, one. That's something yes. you can do. We did um, a couple hundred bucks, I would say. Yeah. It was our, okay. yeah. it was our good cool. profit. My brain just goes <clears throat> to the business. And yeah. You guys keep using the word sustainability. I feel like this is a business and it needs yeah. to be sustainable. True. So you yeah. have to make profit for your time. And, and yes. not, But I do like what you said because I've visited my grandfather when he was still alive. He had an antique shop as well. And I would get up early, go to flea markets yeah. with mm -hmm. him, and we would buy these little things. And there what there is that fine line of like you want it to be purchased, mm -hmm. but you also are running a business right. and need to be able to make worth your time. Right. right. So I, I went through that with him and it was pretty wild. Um, I was always fascinated as a young person, like what people found. Yeah. Like what's the saying? One person's junk is another person's yeah. treasure. Mm -hmm. Like that is very true. Yeah, like there's absolutely. certain things like I would buy like hockey or old golf stuff mm -hmm. that literally people would probably discard and throw away. Yeah. But I'm like, it looks so cool on yeah. the wall. Like, look yeah. at this. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we, I mean, that's what we love about it too, right? Is like things that you might not think that anybody's going to like or other people totally tra like trashed. And you're like, this is amazing and I love it and I have the perfect spot for it or I have the perfect idea of what I can do with it. And I don't know if it's it's been for you, but for me, like seeing also what Val's attracted to that maybe I didn't I didn't catch going through a store and like then she picks it up and I'm like oh right that that is pretty cool <laughs> like she helps me see sort of some of the items that maybe aren't in my style or aesthetic personally yeah like she helps me see like okay that's so kitschy it's cool like it's not <laughs> like something I might have passed over sounds like a good partner <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. thank you <laughs> 
Yeah, along with that, do one of you either like show each other something and one's like hard no, but you <laughs> yes. still get it? Yeah. Do you believe in it? <laughs> <laughs> more right on the reselling. Let's, let's, yeah. let's put some pressure on That's this good, good partnership. Uh, I don't know. We've never looked at the numbers of who's more, <laughs> more uh, resellable items. Yeah. But. We usually shop together all we the do. time. Like we've tried to shop alone, and it's harder. Yeah. Because of, it's because, like we said, we don't have that second eye looking at a piece. Yeah. Where there are occasional times where I'm like, we we have to do it, and you know, yeah, Val's <laughs> definitely pushed me. It's also when you're kind of putting together. I think you called it a drop. It, mm-hmm. You have to stay in some sort of whether it be a color palette or mm-hmm. yeah. some sort of like box so it's not like way out there right but i'm sure there's those pieces like elena was alluding to it's like no this is going to be amazing yeah. you're like really are you like, sure like it's the a peacock turnip, chair turn up teapot yeah <laughs> yeah the- <laughs> and like, really and val's like no this is so cool yeah, yeah. yeah you know i mean yeah again you yeah. never know what somebody's gonna like <laughs> and you know our like we said one of our rules is if it doesn't sell like it's in our house so we have to mm-hmm. like it so i'll have to like it <laughs> <laughs> Up. Yeah, we, we are at our, oh my gosh, that was so fast. Yeah, no, yeah. 20 minutes goes quickly. <laughs> so, I told you, um, so I asked you the question um, as we were setting up the mics The for someone watching, right? Like mm-hmm. you guys are obviously very likable. Your story oh, is well, awesome. Thanks. You're, you, the fact that it's sustainable and that you keep the cost down, all those are just absolutely amazing. And Thank people you. should definitely come to your uh, Instagram. Say it one more time, Instagram page. Our Instagram handle is at Fig and Thistle Vintage. Um, and we can tag it or whatever um please do but like <laughs> like for someone out there is there anything that you want just someone who's never heard of you guys are you and i guess you guys do you, sh- you ship it so technically right anyone yeah in the we, u.s or do you, yeah is there we, i would say like our because we're we're small and we have other jobs shipping isn't our huge priority so that was the other thing that we really keep it locally based mm-hmm. um we do like we'll do delivery like local delivery in pittsburgh area um, we do pick up uh, here, um, and if you're really interested in something, always reach out and ship. We just ask for patience in that, mm-hmm. um, just because we, you know, have other things that we're doing, and sometimes we can't get it to you the next day. But if you're really interested in an item, we're happy to ship. Do people ever message you like, "Hey, I got this item. Do you want to sell it?" <laughs> is that a thing? Like that's usually like the me, family like, members. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. My, my dad's house members. is full oh, of really. ju- like I, what I would say junk, but my dad's like, "This is gold. You can't sell <laughs> it." Maybe it is. Like maybe yeah. maybe yeah. someone else it could use it. We do, know. we do, and yeah. sometimes we're like, "Oh yeah, that's great. Send it our way." And other times we're like, oh, no, yeah. "Not so much." So <laughs> you have a really good piece. Mess DM yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. And if they they decline, don't worry. Yeah. Someone yeah. else will like it. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate any like follow, comment, all that stuff is great for us. You know, yeah. as a small, small bit local, business. yeah, it helps us. Any, it helps us any a lot. Any engagement is helpful. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, that, on that note, I really appreciate. Like you said, like you guys don't have a brick and mortar, so you invited us into your house. <laughs> Maybe we're looking at some pieces that you might be purchasing. <laughs> um, but your story is fantastic. You guys Thank are you. great. Uh, Fig and Thistle Vintage. Yeah. Yes. Um, do you say like just Pittsburgh, like because it's virtual, or like where do you claim that you are? Pittsburgh? We say Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. We say okay. Pittsburgh. Cool. Because you said local. I just want yeah. to be clear. So, oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Deliveries in Pittsburgh. So yeah. That's really cool. Awesome. All right. Well, welcome back to the show. You've been gone for a while. Thank you guys so much for having us in your house. And Thanks you guys for have being a great here. thing. And definitely go to the Instagram and purchase some amazing Yay. items. Thank right. you. Thanks yeah, for having thanks us. Thanks so much. This was so fun. Thanks. Great. You guys did fantastic. This is Unpack Pittsburgh <laughs> Podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks.